can you hear it? Listen on your smart speaker. Just like this. Just say, open like radio player. Like music, like pop. It's Craig, and it's great to be joined by Betty Boo. How are you? Hi, Craig. How are you? I'm, <laughs> I'm all good, right. thank you. Yeah. I was just saying, I am loving your backdrop. I'm going to say it's very strictly, by the way, that backdrop. Very, very strictly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's it's nice and cheery, and uh, it's a nice little area in my in my studio where I'm. I just uh, put music, turn it up, and dance and do all sorts of things <laughs> <laughs> i must say i've got at home about i'd say three of your uh, your singles on vinyl in my record collection from back in the day oh awesome vinyl wow that's which, retro <laughs> which was great you've not been around if i'm right 1992 was the last time we saw you around was it yeah well as a solo artist yeah, yeah. um yeah can uh yeah so that's um <laughs> You do the maths it's uh, 30 because <laughs> people will recognize you from uh where are you baby doing the do every time i say oh you know we're, we're chatting to betty boo they all say oh betty boo doing the do that is that the one that people remember you for from from back then i think so yeah and um actually when if i'm but most people just say oh you're betty boo doing the do aren't you <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, you, so it, yeah, it went down deep. I think went in deep. <laughs> and you started Boo Mania as well. That was uh, another another thing that you started. That must have been awesome to have that power. Really, you won a you won a Brit as well for best newcomer, and it must have been fantastic for you then. It was. It was. Um, oh gosh, it was a whirlwind. Um, I definitely didn't expect to have success. I didn't go out there to have success necessarily. I I think just making music for myself and being able to do that. I was, uh, I was, it was quite rare in those days, actually, um, that, you know, major labels weren't signing artists like me, you know, they're more interested in, uh, you know, sort of puppets, I guess. Um, mm. Not, no disrespect to any other artists. It's just that I, I was writing and rapping and it was so, and I had a studio in my bedroom at home when I was living at home and it was unheard of really somebody as young as me and, and now home studios are mm. the, everyone's got one pretty much haven't they <laughs> yeah they have that's, that's the thing it's changed so much because you're back with your uh, new single get me to the weekend which is absolutely awesome what a what oh. a great tune you're back in a big way and it samples a human league tune as well doesn't it it does yeah so um well, we, we, I wrote it um, with my co-writing, co-producer Andy Wright, and um, I was I was in the process of writing my album. Actually, it started before lockdown, and uh, we we completed it during the lockdown process um, uh, in isolation and stuff. So I would record here with all this stuff behind nice. me <laughs> Strictly. to get myself in the in the in the <laughs> mood and everything. And um, so yeah, when we've got to track twelve, because for a whole album you need about twelve tracks, and um, so we got up to track 12 and we thought, what are we going to do? What are we going to talk about? And what are we going to write about? And we just wanted to, to um, sort of uh, imagine getting to the weekend, going away, because we couldn't do anything at the time, could we? We were no. all sort of stuck stuck at home. And, um, and so that was the concept. We wrote the song in its entirety. And it was a great song. We, and, you know, it's how it is. And then when we went back to do some overdubs, and just a few uh, bits and bobs on the top, um, um, we thought we thought you know love action from human mm. league well, that would go really really well so we plonked it in <laughs> just to see if it would work with a few tweaks here and there uh, and it just elevated the song it just made it sort of I don't know retro somehow but modern at the same time um, and uh, just took it up a notch we, th we thought it sounded great so here we are now you know I released the single and um, and it's been really well received which is fantastic did COVID actually make you go back to writing songs then? Was it was it all being stuck inside that you thought, do you know what, I think I should start, because we're all stuck, we couldn't do anything. Did you think, right, yeah. let's start writing again? Yeah, well, like I said, um, I started just before the lockdown. So I'd already committed the idea to, to you know, to, to writing it, um, but wasn't quite sure how we were going to complete it. And did I have to wait until this everything was over? But because I had I had the technology at home and um, I was able to connect to the studio in London, um, Andy's studio, you know, I was able to record here um, and edit my own vocals on my laptop and um, and send them send them via you know all the various um, ways of transferring files and um, 
and that's how and we just worked that way um in isolation and it was a great way we really had fun doing it actually um it's a, a, a different way but actually i think this is how i'm going to work in the future because <laughs> if i don't have to go into london that often because i live in wiltshire and um it's not far but you know if i can avoid going anywhere apart from i just like being in the countryside actually it's really it's really nice but um but that's how that came about really um but it's it's I was surprised at how much creativity I had during that period. And I, and it's you're right, I think everyone was very they got creative, whether it was baking or you know, mm. sewing or doing or making clothes or something like that, you know. Um yeah, it probably brought out the best of me actually. Um luckily I didn't get COVID or anything like that. Still fingers crossed I haven't had it. So and the video for it as well i recommend people check out the video it's bright it's fun it's entertaining oh, it's you dancing you. with a, a couple of girls there dancing as well yeah. it's it's just a betty boo video isn't it all over again it is it's got the 90s vibe and uh, I, that's what i really wanted to achieve really because i am i am uh, kind of a 90s person and uh, stuck in the 90s but there's all the fashion has come back you know yeah. with bomber jackets and the sort of club wear and everything and and uh, it's like it's as if time hasn't passed for me. <laughs> Come back, and it's you know, and the boo wigs are here, and um, I'm I'm not wearing a wig by the way, but uh, the girls were. <laughs> they were wearing spacey wigs. <laughs> it was brilliant. Now you mentioned an album uh, a little bit ago. I was going to mention what's in the future. Twelve tracks on the album. Was it difficult to choose the twelve tracks that you were you're going to put on there? Well, um, no, because I basically I wrote them all in succession. You know, back to back and. Um, we we treated them all like like singles really you know you always have to believe in all your music and um none we haven't put any on the shelf or anything um and in fact i've written i'm in the middle well, i've nearly completed the second album i'm just putting the finishing touches on wow. that so i'm well ahead of the game as they say <laughs> <laughs> and what, what can we expect from the album then what can, what can we expect uh typical betty boo that we or are you going to take us on a little bit more of a journey and just go a little bit different what can we expect well it's definitely fun and there's a lot of i'd say it's the sort of record i would would have made um when i was 25 because that's when i gave up doing boo stuff hmm. and um so it's uplifting fun upbeat bit of rapping in there bit of 90s vibe lots of break beats and uh and funny funny lyrics <laughs> um just something to make, it, it, it sort of reflects the mood i was in at the time and you know just wanting to uh, be positive and um and just look to the future really um but yeah i think i think it will anyone who knew me back in the day and liked my music would i think they would definitely like it um and they would know it was me as well um but there's definitely no ballads on there or miserable stuff it's no. it's all fun <laughs> uh, but are you new people finding it as well because obviously you, you've now got tiktok and and facebook and twitter and youtube and all that kind of stuff are you finding you're getting a new generation of followers yeah it seems so there's um i think uh, there's a uh, kind of young people saying um that are in that have sort of turned 30 and they were born in sort of uh you know 90 1992 or something like that and uh you know they're loving this stuff and they weren't they were just born you know it's so it's so crazy so it must be i don't know it's 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 an interesting world we live in today where you can have that reach and even you know reaching out to different countries around the world places you wouldn't expect you know it's yeah. um and you have that instant feedback it's incredible really it's a, it's it's it has it can have its downsides, but it's um, definitely a, it's definitely a positive new way of um, putting your music out there and letting people hear them, hear everything you've got, and um, and even talking to. You. I mean, I'm talking to you from my bedroom, and yeah. you know, it's great, isn't it? We could you do couldn't this. do this back in the day. You'd have to physically meet up or go to London. I remember, I remember years ago, it was like, oh, can you interview yeah. such and such an artist? And the record company would say, right. We'll send you to London to a hotel room to actually interview yeah. and you go back to work afterwards. That, but now it's just totally changed, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. And it's, I like this relaxed sort of kind of way because, you know, I mean, um, a promo tour, for instance, back in the day would have taken about two weeks where you go up and down the country and, 
and it's nice to see people by the way but it's lovely it's just as nice to meet people like yourself and um and chat and and uh you know and everyone's in a happier place right now aren't, aren't we i think yeah generally. i think we are i think we're just a bit yeah. more chilled out than we were a couple of years ago anyway because you, you wouldn't have thought that had happened to the music industry it literally just fell apart didn't it It was like oh crikey here's covid and everything stopped yeah that's right and um so last year i got back out and did some uh, festivals which was a great thing to do and and everybody everyone i did some of those retro festivals there's one oh, called yeah, let's yeah, rock yeah. yeah um and chatting to the other artists and i remember the first the first show we did, uh, getting back to it, I remember talking to people and everyone was really nervous, weirdly, because it wasn't, you know, not been, we weren't used to seeing so many people in the crowd. And also just that feeling of being on stage, it was just so strange. I remember really um, crumbling a little bit. <laughs> I just thought, oh my God, there's so loads of people everywhere. Don't hug me. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> loads of people trying to hug and I was like no we still can't do that <laughs> and this was in the, the summertime you know yeah. so. <laughs> well, what was it like to get back on stage and people just singing the lyrics back at you that must have been a great feeling again it really was uh, it's those festivals generally are a great vibe anyway and um and people go there to because they loved your music back in the day and they're there just to have the best time get get uh, get smashed as well, <laughs> <laughs> go get to Betty Boo's gigs and get smashed with cider there's a quote <laughs> that'll be trending this afternoon <laughs> yeah so um, it's great <laughs> it's great so what are the plans for the future are we going to see you doing some more uh, festivals this year obviously you've mentioned you've got an album and a second album and then are we going to see it move on from there yeah, so I, I'm, I'm planning to put out some, a few more singles and uh, then the album, hopefully early, early summer. And um, yeah, I'm planning some performances. Um, but it's early. I mean, the, the record's only released last week, so mm. we'll just uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. And if people really want to see me, um, I'll, I'll definitely perform for everyone. It's, it'll be great. That's brilliant. Now, if they want to check you out, you're on Facebook and websites and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. I'm on the usual platforms <laughs> yeah. um, and, and TikTok. Um, oh, so yeah. there'll be lots of, I've got a Burmese blue cat called Barry, Barry the Burmese. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to get him to, I'm going to get him a wig, I think. <laughs> 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 cat wigs. <laughs> get him to along to do the do. <laughs> Shall I Google it now and find out? <laughs> yeah. Hello, cat wigs. Come here. <laughs> Anybody do any cat wigs? What you need is people to start dancing to your tunes and then you're just going to go viral on TikTok. That'll be it then. Yeah. You've, you've, you've done it then. You've sorted it. Well, I'll be very interested to see people's dances. That's that's for sure. <laughs> be, I'll, I'll do one later. I mean, it won't be great. I mean, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> <You can> do <laughs> <it>. <laughs> it might just be this a little bit. That'll be all I'll be doing like that. <laughs> Put your hands up. <laughs> yeah. Well, Betty Boo, it's been amazing catching up. Uh, good luck with the single. Good luck with the album and the tour. And I'm very jealous of that backdrop. Mine's a bit boring. So um, if you ever need to get rid of it, I'll just put it up here instead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you can go on Amazon and find a, you know, easy next day delivery. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever chat again, I'm going to get a background like that. That'll be it. For your next single, I'll make sure it's there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, jazz it up. <laughs> yeah, just send me a Betty Boo wig and we're laughing as well at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great catching up. I will speak again soon. Oh, thanks so much. Lovely to see you. Hey, can you hear it? Listen on your smart speaker. Just like this. Just say, open like radio player. Like music, like pop.